Oh, what's poppin' everyone? Marcus is coming back into with a brand new video today. A bit of a different subject and topic again. Today we're going to talk about Soldier Boy, who made crank that way, way back. He fell off a bit through the rap game, so now he's trying to do it and become an entrepreneur. He is drop shipping a new console. He's basically drop shipping a lot of different AliExpress products, bullshit uh, smartwatches, bullshit consoles, stuff like that. So we're gonna jump in, take a look at it, and I'm gonna explain how he's actually making millions with it. He posted a screenshot the other day, I can post it right here, um, where he made like $850,000 in one single day. So we're gonna jump in and see how he basically rips off people through his personal brand. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So inside of SoldierWatch.com, Soldier Boy's new tech company, as he's calling it. He's made a new tech company. Um, he's explaining a lot about it on his Instagram. To be fair, I don't even know why I follow him. I do, um, and then I heard it through like media and, and on Instagram and stuff. But yeah, so he launched a new line of electronic products through his Soldier Tech, I think he calls the company, the specific store is called soldierwatch.com and I think that he started off with this let's jump into it it's like a bullshit smartwatch which costs like 20 bucks or something from AliExpress like these soldier watch I think he's probably maybe have like a good you've seen these before right like really really low quality smartwatches so he probably you can even see color ships from like they, they didn't even take the time to go ahead and change where it shipped from so you can actually choose china which is the number one thing that you cannot have on your drop shipping store soldier boy doesn't care about that he's like nah bruh just gonna tell them that it's from russia or china no worries about that anyway so he posted a screenshot the other day that he made like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars in one day um, and he sort of like has leaned a lot to he, he was promoting his soldier watch you know a couple months back i think and then he sort of like went into more high ticket products right we all know that's easy to make of course he's just using his personal brand but marketing wise when running ads using high ticket products can make it a lot easier to get a profitable ROAS. but you know He's of course just moving into higher ticket items like, you know, the Soldier Game Fuse or the Soldier Game Console or handheld, like a, like, like a Nintendo, I, I don't even know. Anyway, but he's doing it uh, that of course to try to amp up his revenue and his profits of course. But yeah, let's just jump straight into one of them. This one, Soldier Game Fuse, I've, I've watched a couple of videos about like like so, this sort of stuff and, and somebody was talking about this Fuse console is actually like a complete ripoff of Xbox One and PlayStation 4. But yeah, it's basically like if PlayStation 4 and Xbox One had a baby, right? And China just completely knocked it off and just made a complete, you know, copy of it. And I have it open right. I, I didn't have it open. Okay, let's search for it. But these were some of the other ones that he had. Let me show right here. Um, you can see the Retro Soldier Boy Mini, which is basically this one, right? So seven to eighteen dollars, twenty dollars. But it gets really good reviews. You can see here seven hundred actually seven hundred reviews on AliExpress, four point nine rating. So people are actually happy about the specific products that they receive, rather than being, of course, because of the quality uh, versus the price that they pay when they buy it from AliExpress. You know, here that you. You'll pay seventy dollars, right? And he's paying eighteen, probably less, because he has a lot higher volume. So you, I hope for a soldier, soldier boy. If you're watching this video, go ahead and get some better prices from your suppliers, because you can get it a lot cheaper when you're making that many orders. I thought it was, I think it was like thirty-five thousand orders he got that day with eighty eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars in revenue. So soldier boy. If you haven't gotten better prices from your suppliers, go ahead and negotiate with them. You can watch one of my videos on my, on my YouTube channel about it if you're unsure how to do that. Anyway, jokes aside, you can see here that this is sort of like the same as this handheld soldier game, handheld gaming console. Um, yeah, he's moving into the tech business. Not really, right? He's just drop shipping shit from AliExpress. But you know, and he's so. Guys, what is the number one thing not to do when you're importing products and you're gonna make a product descriptions? Never, ever, ever, ever use the product descriptions from AliExpress. Soldier Boy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, nah, 
tell them everything so yes yeah, screenshots boom of course some of these make sense right the size of it how much it weighs and stuff and then they changed it a little bit but it just really looked that good right it looked like one of those you know people who just started dropshipping making a store and and the th the logo not the biggest fan of it soldier boy hit me up if you want me to optimize your store but anyway, as you can see, we got the soldier game console, specifically the console. So I found this one, which it's nearly like the same, right? Probably you can find the exact same model on AliExpress. I just found this one. But as you can see, it, it, it varies. So if you want it with the, with the, I think that's with the, with the joysticks, black, white. Okay, there's the difference in price. Oh, you get a TF card and stuff with it, I think. Anyway. It looks a lot like the same, right? Soldier soldier game console right here. So basically the same, right? He has just some other controllers or whatever. So yeah, looks a lot like the same. And then you got his new one. I, I just checked on on his Instagram. He launched that. It, it's the official launch a couple of days ago. He wrote that, which is called like a Fuse, which was the one I was talking about. This one, he even called it a Fuse. So you can actually go on to AliExpress and search Fuse and find the exact same one that he's probably using. Maybe he has like a, a hidden supply on AliExpress, but he's definitely just drop shipping them, right? Um, very smart, like, like you know, Supreme Patty does the exact same thing. A lot of these, or you, I, don't, I don't even know how to, you know, say it, but you know, some of those maybe fell off or some of these, you know, cloud chasers or whatever trying to move into easy you know quick money schemes like drop shipping right of course supreme patty has it in a bit different way this is a lot of these games might be very copyrighted don't know how it gets around that if he got maybe he got a loophole maybe he has like tons of lawsuits coming who knows but yeah i would not recommend to drop ship this one for any of you guys because a lot of these games are like through ubisoft and stuff like that so as you can see Global 200 plus content partners, Ubisoft and stuff like that. So please don't think that you can go ahead and drop ship this product. I would not recommend to do it. One, it's an electronic problem, so that might give you some issues. Two, there's a lot of copyrighted stuff on it, so I would not recommend to do it. But Soldier Boy's doing it, and he's like, nah, I'm gonna make a lot of money on it. And he is, he's been like $850,000 in revenue, right? It's, a, it's amazing. I don't think he's, he, he's probably not running any ads, right? He's just promoting it through, like, um, he, he gets tons of pu publicity. All of the news media and gaming media and all of the different YouTube channels and stuff are talking about it because, you know, it's something new, it's something weird, it's a bit, you know, it's a new console launching through a very, very big personal brand like Soldier Boy. So a lot of, you know, news medias and stuff like that is talking about it. People are sharing it and he gets tons of organic traffic. I was actually thinking about you could jump in and see how much traffic that he's getting. Maybe we'll be able to see that. We'll figure it out. Oh, page not found. It's, I think it's maybe new. Maybe we can't find it, but we can try it. Okay. So, oh, okay, okay. It was maybe if I jump back to the front page, we'll maybe be able to do it. Let's see if. It will load for me. Traffic, explore traffic. But yeah, so he's getting a lot of, you know, organic traffic. I think all of it is organic traffic. So he's making, well, it doesn't work anyway. But he's getting tons of traffic, you know, through his personal brand, Instagram, through, you know, people sharing his content and stuff like that. So he's he's actually making a shitload of money from this, right? He's making a lot of revenue, but a lot of profits because he's not using any money on ads. So, you know, you can't blame him for from trying to jump into this and it clearly works out for him. Well, the lawsuits might not be the best thing in the world if he ends up getting lawsuits on him, but hey, he's making a lot of money right now. So that's cool, but please don't buy anything from his store. It's a waste of money, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of, you know, people just buying it either to support him or, you know, because they don't really know about dropshipping and they're actually being fucked over in terms of these specific products, right? That's the thing, you know, you can of course sell it with like a real brand and, you know, there's a good dropshippers and bad dropshippers and good ways to do dropshipping and bad ways to do dropshipping. There is many, you know, ways to do it, but I do not think that this is the best way to do it because he's sort he's not scamming his followers. He's just not really telling him the right truth, right? He's telling them this new tech company and blah, 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 and it's really not. He's also said that he partnered with Ubisoft, which I do not know if he has, but it just doesn't really seem, you know, reliable because Ubisoft has, you know, these games and these consoles all from Ubisoft and other, you know, publishers of, of games. 
and I don't think that those fuse because there there's a big article online that fuse was sort of like ripping off all of these games from the different game companies. So I do not think that, but that was basically just a breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't go ahead and buy anything from soldierwatch.com. Go ahead and check it out. It's quite fun. You go ahead and find the product on AliExpress that he's selling on soldierwatch.com. You can go ahead and check him out on Instagram as well. He's promoting, you know, nearly each hour on his story. So go ahead and check that out. I'll be following along when he launched his new tech um, electronical stuff. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about that when he does so. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you figured it was a funny, weird, interesting, informative video and give it a like if you thought so and hit the notification bell so you will always be up to date whenever I upload a new video. And as always, I hope you all have a successful and wonderful day.